Hey guys, welcome back to the channel. Um, it is Saturday, December 4th, and um, it is a beautiful day today. Like, it is gorgeous. Like, if I remove the curtain, like, look at this. Like, so much sunlight that I had to, like, close it a little bit because it was getting distracting. Like, it's so pretty outside. I had a beautiful morning. I slept in really nicely. Um, got up around 10 and then I had breakfast and a little latte and I read um, the book that I'm reading at the moment which I showed you guys which is a autobiography by my favorite soccer player in the entire world as you guys know I'm a huge soccer well football fan and um, I just love learning about people's lives so I'm just reading his book right now and I am obsessed. I can't wait to do a book review, but that's off the topic. I am going to get ready with you guys right now for a Christmas parade that I will be in. I told you guys about this in my first Vlogmas video that I just posted um, as I'm talking, as I'm filming, um, and I'm so excited. So basically my city does a annual Christmas parade every year. Unfortunately, there wasn't one last year because of COVID. It's still COVID right now, but it's gotten better. So it's gotten to the point where we can do it. And I'm so excited. So people around the city can come and then it's a normal parade. So Santa Claus will come by and all different like police officers, firefighters and the fire truck. And then um, I will be in it as well as a lot along with my family and I'm just, I'm really, really excited. <laughs> um, but I'm still very nervous. Anyways, the point is I'm gonna get ready now, do a little bit of some fun Christmas makeup and put on my outfit and show you guys. Oh my gosh, look at the sunlight. Like you can see through the bottle. Okay, uh, <laughs> I'm gonna be using, I, you guys can't even see, oh. Okay, I'm going to be using this Physician's Formula Skin Booster Vitamin Shot on my face before I put anything on. But you guys can't see because the sunlight is driving me crazy. I love it though. It's like I'm holding magic. Like, look at this. Gonna let that dry a little. It's just like a little, um, like oil thing. I got it from Shoppers. I love it. It's like, it just gives you a little hydration, you know, when you're wearing makeup. So I love it. Um, anyways, yeah. So I'm going to be using the palette revolution um forever flawless constellation palette um my mom gave it to me actually i think she got it from shoppers and it's such a cool galaxy palette and it was pretty cheap honestly um and look at the beautiful shades so galaxy ish it's really giving me rem beauty vibes if you're an ari fan ariana grande Fan, you know that Ariana Grande just dropped a makeup collection. You guys, I'm obsessed. It's called Rem Beauty. Like, I really want some of it for Christmas, so hopefully I get it. I don't know. But um, I'm really getting those vibes from this palette. Ugh, I'm just obsessed with Ariana Grande. Like, I love her so, so much. And so, like, whatever she drops, I, like, need it. So, like, I absolutely need her makeup. Um, I love everything that she has. Um, in the collection so far, but personally, uh, my favorites are the not the baby doll palette I forgot what it's called but the other one with like the really pretty like dark blue and pinks I'll put it here on the screen I love that palette I absolutely want it so pretty um I also really love the mascara I love mascara and it's called the volumizing flourishing mascara so I love a good volume on the lashes so I really like that um and then I love all of the plumping lip glosses like oh my gosh they're so pretty the only thing is they're so tiny and they're so expensive so I don't know about that, but I absolutely love them and the matte lipsticks and then one of my favorite things is the Miss Neptune highlighter It's freaking purple like I am obsessed. It's so cute But like it goes with every makeup look like I don't know how to explain it to you guys But the purple highlighter looks so cute like I'd wear it every day Hope you guys enjoyed that rant about me talking about Ariana's makeup But I think it was well worth it because hello, it's Miss Ponytail Okay, I'm gonna go for like a warm, wintry, like reddish kind of look. So I'm gonna first start off with going in with this very beige, very basic color to just even out the eyelid. Um, it's called Asteroid and I'm just gonna lather, at, lather that all around my eyelid. Okay, 
Now I'm going to go in with a medium shade, kind of lightly across the lid going up to the crease, so nothing above that maybe, or just maybe a little bit above, above the crease. I don't know, I'm just gonna go for it and see how it goes. But I'm going to be using the shade Retrograde, which is this one right next to the one that I just used. And it's a really nice, like, light mix with pink and brown, and I think it's gonna look really good. Okay, so it's more of a shimmery shade, whereas I thought it was gonna be more matte, but it's okay, it still looks good. It was just unexpected, but I still really like it. And lastly, now we are going to go in with the darkest shade, but just a little, going from the outer corner to the crease a little bit. And I will be using like the, a crease brush. Is this a crease brush? I have no idea. I don't know what I'm saying. I don't know anything about makeup, but um, I do what works. <laughs> so I'm going to be using the shade up here, which is Mars. And I think that will really add a really nice finish. Ooh, I am really liking this shade. Um, I definitely like that one the best. Ooh, and now lastly, actually, I'm going to be using a glitter shade for the inner corners of my eyes and a little bit below the brown bone. Um, I'm going to be using this one. It's called Fractal. It's this like really pretty white shimmer. Don't know if you can see that. It's really gorgeous. Uh, again, I don't know if you can see it. Okay, yeah, obsessed. I am loving this look. I'm just going to be adding a little bit of mascara and blush. Okay, this is the final makeup look. I love it. Simple but cute. Anyways, I'm going to now get dressed. I'm going to be wearing a green long sleeve shirt with some jeans and then obviously I'm going to be wearing my coat and hat and gloves so you kind of won't even see my outfit because I'll be, you know, walking in the cold for like an hour. So, you know, I'll be cold and I'll want a coat. So. <laughs> okay, you guys, this is my outfit. I am wearing a green long sleeve shirt for the Christmas spirit. And then I am wearing these blue regular guest jeans. I will never stop thanking guests for their jeans because they are the most comfortable jeans you could ever find. Like, so good. Anyways, that's my outfit. I am obsessed with the makeup look. It turned out way better than I thought. And it's, and it's actually like a cooler look, like a wintry ice cold look more than warm. And I'm for it. Uh, it was not what I was aiming for, but love it. So anyways, I'm going to now get my stuff and go. And I will see you guys after the parade and tell you everything. I'm so excited and nervous. <laughs> I love Christmas and everything about Christmas. Anyways, love you. Bye. I am back from the parade and it was so magical like I know I always know going into the parade because I've done it two other times before in the past years but I always know it's gonna be amazing but when I finish it like I just I feel so joyful and it's always better than I expected oh my god you guys it was so magical every there's so many people on the streets everybody was so happy and so kind um i just i was the person giving out the candy and uh all the little kids were so cute and the parents were so sweet it just really felt normal for once in a crazy world anyways <laughs> i'm gonna go call it a night i'm actually gonna go to my uncle's for a sleepover me and my brother are gonna go there watch a, a movie and then i'll be back here tomorrow morning and i will talk to you guys then about more details but for now i'm gonna go i love you guys i'll see you tomorrow
Hey guys, uh, welcome back. It is Sunday, December 5th, and it's like almost 10 o'clock at night, um, but it was a very chill day today. Um, I didn't do much. I came home from my uncle's house uh, from the sleepover at around like one-ish. Um, it was really, really fun. We stayed up very late, like my brother and my uncle and I, uh, watching really funny comedies, playing video games. I beat them both, like three zero twice in uh, PES, which is just like FIFA. Um, and, you know, don't wanna brag, but like, I'm very good. Anyways, yeah, so it was really fun. And then um, I came home and I just, uh, really felt like chilling so I just watched a bunch of Jane the Virgin episodes which I showed you guys I love that show I really craved it for some reason um, you know did some computer work and then I read a little bit of my novel for English and yeah and then here I am but I just wanted to explain to you guys how it was last night I like talked to you guys a little bit last night but I didn't really tell you in detail but it was so magical you guys I will never forget that feeling of like walking down like those few blocks like it wasn't a long parade like it's just a few maybe I'd say like four or five blocks like I don't know and but it was so quick but like so long like like it I don't know, it was forever staying in my memory, if you know what I mean. Um, but it was just, I was the person in charge of walking beside the float. Um, it was so pretty and magical, they did a great job on it. I was the one walking on the left of it, and I had a huge Santa Claus bag, and I was giving candy to everybody. Um, and every time I had to refill, I'd go to the float, somebody would refill it for me, and then I'd go back on the street. So it was very hectic, but I was the one just throwing candy to kids, parents, grandparents, just anybody I see who wants it. I am so grateful that I got that job, like that specific job, because there's many things you could do. There were people holding banners, people, there was somebody in the mailbox mascot, there's people in the float handing out like the candy to me to pass it out. Like there's just a lot of jobs and I'm just thankful I got that one and I got it last year as well because my favorite part of the entire parade is interacting with all of these strangers, yet it feels so comfortable and friendly because it's just like this community, you know? And so I just, I will never forget it. I was handing out candy to little tiny kids and babies and these happy parents. And then there was this little grandma in a wheelchair and she was so spirited, like she was singing along to the songs. And so I went to her and gave her a few candy canes and the smile that grew on her face, I will never forget. It was adorable. And I even got compliments from little kids like quickly, like as I was running through the streets, like on my hair, like I've never like gotten that sweet of a comment before from someone that I don't even know. Like it was so sweet. A little girl complimented my jacket, like come on. It's just so amazing. I just like ran down these blocks, giving out candy to random people and saying Merry Christmas. And it was just the best fast 25 minutes of my life like I just I will never forget it and um on the way back because we were on this float we had to go back to where we were originally located so all of the kids sat at the back of the float and we went across <laughs> back to where we were so I was kind of at the back of a float on the road for a long time anyways it was so amazing and before that while we were waiting to get into the parade we got lattes from a local coffee shop and just like, to be honest, the wait, like, waiting, like, on, like, an empty road with, like, everybody in the flow and the music, waiting to go into the hot spot where everybody was, took so much longer than the actual parade. The parade was like that, you guys. Like, I did not have a moment to breathe. Like, it was a very fast parade, at least in my view, because I was just, like, everywhere. But, like, the wait was, like, an hour and a half, you know? But even that flew by because I was just talking to everybody, helping. I zip tied the tree on the flow and stuff. So like I, you know, you do things during that as well, but like the parade always goes so fast. Um, but yeah, it was so fun, you guys. Like I'm so incredibly honored and grateful and just beyond words to be able to be in a parade. Like, you know how huge that is? Like to be in something like that, it was something I've always dreamed of. Like I remember as a little kid watching like Canada, Canada Day parades every year and Christmas parades. I always wanted to be in one like so the fact that I'm like living a part of my childhood dream is incredible and just mind-blowing so 
just another reminder that you can do anything you put your mind to. Okay, I just called Marco and to end off the night and end off this video, I'm going to be opening the fifth advent. Marco opened his yesterday secretively without being on camera, which is a little disrespectful, but it's okay. But okay. she tricked me into doing nah, it. I didn't trick anything. Um, <laughs> It was kind of like a late night, so I kind of forgot to do it on camera with Victoria, so we were kind of busy. So you just snuck a chocolate. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Had to get one in. Yeah, okay. Anyways, it's no big deal. We're going to open the fifth one right now. It's this big door over here. It's a big one. It could be anything. It's the same uh, <laughs> egg wrapped in the candy wrap. I actually really like these. I'm going to have it right now before bed. It will be amazing. Um, but yeah. Thank you guys for watching this Vlogmas video. Uh, I will see you guys tomorrow. Tomorrow is December 6th, which is St. Nicholas Day. If you are a Christian Catholic or if you celebrate Christmas, you will know what that is. So we should, we have our stockings on our doors. So um, every night before St. Saint, Saint Nicholas Day, uh, you get something like like a stocking stuffer, I guess, and you wake up to something in your stocking. It's really yeah, cool. Yeah, so. Yeah, anyways. We're looking forward to that. Yeah, so anyways, I'm going to see you guys tomorrow. Thank you for watching. Love you guys. Bye. <laughs> <laughs>